Continuing with the surface area of right pyramids and right cones, let's take a look at those pyramids. Got a couple of terms here. The bottom, just like in a cone, is called the base. A pyramid is made up of a bunch of triangular faces. The top, that tip at the top, is called an apex. And we also have a height. Remember, height is from the center of the base. And in order for it to be considered a right pyramid, is that height has to be at 90 degrees to the base. Just like in the cone, we also have a slant height. Keep in mind that that slant height is walking along the face to get to the apex. It's not the same as the height. In fact, in some of our questions, we're going to have to break it down to find that height. So the slant height is the hypotenuse of that triangle. A couple of more terms to go through. If it is a regular tetrahedron, the base is actually the same shape as those lateral faces. And because it's a regular tetrahedron, each of those triangles is an equal lateral triangle. On these other two pyramids, the name depends on the shape of the base. This one right here has a square base, so it's a right square pyramid, and this one over here has a pentagon on the bottom, so it's a right pentagonal pyramid. The textbook lists this formula right here. Surface area of a right pyramid with a regular polygon base. I don't like this formula because it depends upon having a regular polygon base. What that means is all of the sides on the base are the same length. What I prefer to do is break it down into its shapes, draw a net, and find the surface area of each of those shapes. Because if you don't have a regular polygon base, this formula doesn't work. So let's rewrite that as surface area equals the area of the lateral faces plus the area of the base. You're not wrong if you use the perimeter of the base formula as long as you use a regular polygon base, whereas the formula I wrote down works for all right pyramids. Let's start with this one. The key part to notice is we are looking at a regular tetrahedron. All the sides are the same. The lateral faces are the same, and the base is the same. So if I find the surface area of one triangle, I can times it by 4 and find my total surface area. Area of a triangle equals base times height divided by 2. Let's put the numbers in and figure it out. 9 centimeters times 7.8 centimeters and then divided by 2 gives me a grand total of 35.1 square centimeters. It's a tetrahedron, so all the faces are the same. My total surface area should be the 35.1 times 4. Total surface area is 140.4 centimeters squared. There's the surface area of a regular tetrahedron. Let's move on to finding the surface area of this right square pyramid. And this is where I would like you to draw a net. Take that shape and unfold it. We have to keep in mind that if the base is a square, all four lateral faces are going to be the same. Let's write some measurements onto that drawing. I know that this is 8 centimeters right from here. And I know that my height, that's my slant height to be more specific, is 10 centimeters. I've got enough information to find the surface area of this pyramid. I'm going to break it down into a couple of parts. Let's do the base. The base is a square, so the area is length times width. In this case, the area of my base is 8 centimeters times 8 centimeters. The area of my base equals 64 square centimeters. Let's highlight that because it's important and I'm going to need to come back for it. Let's do our lateral faces. Area of a triangle equals base times height divided by 2. Putting in what I know, base is 8 centimeters, height is 10 centimeters. I'm going to divide that by 2. 8 times 10 is 80 divided by 2 gives me 40 centimeters squared. I'm going to box right on that because I'm also coming back for that piece. Let's move on to our total surface area. So our surface area equals our lateral area plus our base area. Now we've got four triangles for our lateral area. Each triangle is 40 centimeters squared, and we've got four sides. And we're going to add in our base, which is 64 centimeters squared. 40 times 4 is 160 plus 64. It means my total surface area equals 224 square centimeters.
That's the surface area of my right square pyramid. It's a quick note, this was an easier question because the question gave me the slant height, not the actual height. And slant height is what we need to find surface area.